Church family, we have the incredible joy of witnessing an entire family get baptized this morning. Titus 3, 3 through 7 says, For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. For the past 10 years, I lived in open rebellion against God. I divorced my wife and lived a life of drunkenness, sexual immorality, and self-idolization. I grew up in the church and proclaimed to be a Christian. I dotted the I's and crossed the T's and thought I was good in the eyes of God. I became a wife and a mother at the age of 19. At this point in my life, I was so self-absorbed. I literally didn't care about anything unless it benefited me. My marriage ended and I pursued idols and treasures that I thought would fulfill my needs. Before I was saved or really understood the Bible, I wasn't a very kind person. I never cared about something unless it benefited me. I really only cared about myself. But when the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit whom he poured out on us richly through Jesus Christ our Savior. I heard the gospel, the true gospel for the first time and started reading my Bible and knew then that my heart was forever changed. At my lowest, I began to attend Sherman Bible where I heard the gospel and God changed my heart. But through the gospel, God changed my heart and as I read more of his word, I started to understand more of what he had done for me. Through Christ working in my life and the life of my family, my wife and I have reconciled and have centered our life around Christ. Because of Christ, my marriage and my family have been restored, and together we live with Christ at the center, always thankful for his never-ending love and calling us to be his own. It is a, it's a true joy to baptize you today in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in his death, raised to walk in newness of life.